and check out our beautiful website at logicofielts.com to register for a free account and see even more content. Welcome back to the Logic of IELTS. Writing task one requires you to write a report in only about 20 minutes. You cannot include every single element from your graph in the writing, and you should not try to include everything. IELTS is testing you on two things with this task that are outside of English ability. What key features you include, and what key features you do not include. This is an important part of the task. Many students simply don't know what to keep out of their report. They want to write about everything. Understanding what to write about can make the difference between a 6, 6.5, or even a 7. But with this lesson, you will learn exactly what to include and exclude from your Writing Task 1 report. Let's start with an example of the bar graph. The prompt is to report on the households with electrical appliances, which is the top graph, and the number of hours of housework, which is the lower graph. Our first step is to analyze the graphs to choose our main features. My advice is this. First, choose the features that change the most, then the features that are the highest, and last, the features that are the lowest. So, in the first graph, we see the biggest change is in refrigerator. Next is vacuum cleaner. Last, washing machine changes the least. Finally, I look to graph two. It has only one line that steadily goes down before leveling off. This makes the task a little more simple. With these general ideas in our mind, we can start making some notes about what data we will include and exclude. We analyze in the first graph that all three electrical appliances go up until 1960. That makes 1960 an important date, so we can take note of that feature to be included. After this point, refrigerator continues to rise until it peaks at 100% in 1980, and vacuum cleaner rises to a peak at 100% in 2000. Washing machine fluctuates from 1960 to 2019, where it peaks a little above 70%. So what other information do we need to include? Like I mentioned, we must include the high points of the data. So those are clear for refrigerator and vacuum cleaner. But what about washing machine? Since it changes the least, some of its data can be excluded. Now we can move on to the second graph. The high point we must include for graph 2 is in 1920. At this point, the hours of housework is highest at 50. It steadily declines until 1960. At that point, it levels off. This analysis tells us exactly the important dates and data for graph 2. 1920 at 50 hours, then a decline to 1960 at 20 hours and leveling off. So we have excluded some data for washing machine, the data after refrigerator and vacuum cleaner peaked, and the data after 1960 for graph 2. The next thing we have to include is the relationship between these graphs. We can see a clear contrary relationship between the two graphs that occurs at 1960. A contrary relationship means that the lines are moving in opposite directions. 1960 is the last year in which the three electrical appliances were all increasing, and it's the year where the decrease in housework hours stopped falling so sharply. This relationship at 1960 is a key feature between the two graphs that must be included. We can also include that housework hours level off after 1980. The same trend is generally true for the three electrical appliances. Finally, let's review the data and key features we have chosen to include. For graph 1, we include the growth of all three electrical appliances until 1960. Next, the peak of refrigerator in 1980. Then, the peak of vacuum cleaner in 2000. For graph 2, we include the high point of housework hours in 1920. Then, the sharp decline until 1960. Finally, we include the relationship between the two graphs. First, the opposite motion between housework hours and electrical appliances from 1920 to 1960, then the general leveling off of both graphs from 1960 to 2019.
Now we can look at a model answer to see how I include these points in my answer. In my second paragraph, the overview, I write two sentences to represent my two paragraphs. Sentence one talks about the increase in electrical appliance ownership before it levels off. Sentence two talks about the opposite relationship that hours of housework has with graph one and states that it also levels off. Body paragraph one connects to my first sentence in my overview. It is only about the first graph. I state the important dates between 1920 and 1960 because 1960 is the last date in which all three appliances grow together. Then I give the specific dates and data for both refrigerator and vacuum cleaner. At the end, I mention washing machine fluctuating as well as its final peak. In paragraph 2, I connect to sentence 2 of my overview, so it is only about the second graph. The data we include is the high point, which was in 1920, and I write about the decline until 1960. Here, I have to describe the comparison between graph 1 and graph 2, and I do that by writing that from 1960 onward, appliances leveled off, and so did housework hours. This sentence covers two important pieces of information that we want to include, which is the date, 1960, and the shared feature of leveling off. Finally, I end paragraph two by describing the duration that housework leveled off and the final low point in 2019. And that is how the logic of IELTS identifies what data to include and exclude from writing task one. As always, send me a message or comment if you need any help with this skill. And check out our beautiful website at logicofielts.com to register for a free account and see even more content.